So I think that bathrooms have gone a very long way from traditionally where they used to be in an outhouse to today where I think it's really a space which is like the only refuge in the context of a city and the context of a home. So I think it's really come into become a space where uh, people are very deeply involved with uh, what is the quality of that experience. And I think because of the kind of travel that Indian families have seen in the last 20, 30 years, uh, there is a lot of experimentation that also happens around bathrooms. Some of the things that we've been doing as a practice for at least the last 15 years is the idea of the courtyard bathroom, which you see a lot in Asia, in Bali, in Southeast Asia. So the idea of being deeply connected with nature while you're in your bathing space and flooding that space with light, actually. So that completely transforms your experience of the space. So technology has already been playing an interesting role in architectural spaces in terms of uh, you look at motion sensors, you look at thermostats, you look at control uh, flows of tap uh, water flows. Uh, but I think that this is going to move to the next level in the next uh, maybe decade or so where already there are companies which are doing experimental work around allowing very specific user controls of temperature settings, uh, comfort levels. Uh, I think that you know you may even see voice activated experience it could become like an experience in itself where uh, you have technology which enables uh, your needs to be perceived once you feed them at once so that as you enter it senses who's entering the bathroom and it really then uh, puts everything sets everything the way you want it so that would be really exciting to see it sounds like science fiction but it may just become a reality.